This is Kaini Fosei. You are watching APM News and here are some updates from the Northeast. Rajya Sabha MP W.R. Karluki on Friday drew the attention of the parliament seeking the demand for inclusion of Kasi and Garo languages in the 8th schedule of the constitution. In his speech, Dr. Karluki expressed his disappointment over the state completing 50 years of statehood on 21st January 2022 without having its native language recognized in the 8th schedule of the constitution. He inserted that Meghalaya comprises of two ethnic groups, Kasi Jantia and Garos, who speak different languages. But the sad part is that, despite the demand made by the people and a resolution was passed by the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly for inclusion of the Kasi and Garo languages, nothing has been done. He also mentioned on how the speaker favored members expressing themselves in the house in their own language. He requested the speaker to impress upon the government that at least on attaining 50 years of statehood, the government may be recognized by including the Kasi and Garo languages in the 8th schedule of the Indian constitution. Under the vision of the Chief Minister Nipirio to raise the next generation of musicians and leaders, the Task Force for Music and Arts, Tafma on Friday, had an 8-year-old musician, Genti Jun Tirushana Iyer, as its first ever Tafma student advisor from Dimapu. The bold and talented young musician thanked the Chief Minister for all his support and love for the music and arts fraternity in the state. She also thanked Dafma for inviting her to be the student advisor for the day to share her dreams and be a voice for all the children of Nagaland. Hija Meru, advisor of Dafma, also thanked Chief Minister for all his support and patronage. He added that Dafma will continue to carry out the exercise and are currently trying to identify variety of talents from across the state. 